Hello friends, Tony here, so welcome back. In the previous video we start to work with functions on TypeScript. Now in this video I'm going to talk about the function parameters. Here we have a function without parameter and here we have a function with two parameters, the A and B, and both of them has a type number. Okay, so parameters are a value or arguments past the function, as you can see. And in TypeScript, the compiler expects a function to receive the exact number and type of arguments as defined in the function signature. So here we have defined this function, someone with two parameters and both of them has a type number. And the compiler expects a function to receive the, the exact number and type of arguments. So when we Call that we have added the exact number of parameters and also both of them are type number. So if we say here sum one and instead of number for this one number this other type string, you can see we have an underlying error saying argument of type string is not assignable to parameter of type number. Also, if we add only one, the same thing, we're going to have the error. So expected two arguments, but got one. And if we add more than two, for example, here without three, we have an underlying error, expected two arguments, but got three. Okay, so the compiler expects a function to receive the exact number and type of arguments as defined in the function signature. Okay, let's leave that. And also TypeScript has an optional parameter functionality. So the parameters that may or may not receive a value can be appended with a question mark to make them as, uh, to mark them as uh, optional. So let me uh, just create a function here. So I'm going to say function and not sum3, but I'm going to name it user function and this user function is going to have three parameters the age and the name age and also I'm going to add another one for the country so let's say country to be a string and instead of the console log name and age I'm going to say return yeah my name is the name we provide and I'm for example, 26 years old, I live in USA, for example. Okay, so let's see now. If we call this function, user function, and yeah, we have provided here John, 25, and USA. And if we console log, just to show you, I'm going to cut and just say log here, and user function, but I'm going to add this one like this. I'm going to save and let's open here the browser and you can see here user function. My name is John. I'm 25 years old and I live in USA. Okay. Now I have installed a VS Code extension just to show the log here. So it's not necessary to open the browser. So we can see the log directly here. So user function, my name is John. I'm 25 years old and I live in USA. What if I want to make the country optional? What we can do is, and we have learned that, after the name, we need to add the question mark. And this make this parameter optional. Okay, so right now, if I say nothing change, because here we have provided the John 25 and USA, so the name, age, and the country. But if I'm, I'm not going to provide this, just the John and the age, as you can see, we don't have the error. Yes, here now we have my name is John and I'm 20, 25 years old. I live in undefined because the country now is undefined. And to fix that, I'm going to check here. So if we have a country, return this otherwise just return i am 
25 years old without the I live in the country. Okay? So now, because we have provided only the name and the age, the log say my name is John and I'm 25 years old. If we provide also the country, USA, and save, it's going to say also I live in USA. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is the optional parameter or all optional parameters must follow required parameters and should be at the end. Okay? So the optional should be at the end, not if we cut this end cut after the name and the age after the optional parameter. So the age is required. As you can see, we have an underlying error. Error, a required parameter cannot follow an optional parameter. So keep in mind that always the optional parameters must follow the required parameters. Okay, now let's see the default parameters. TypeScript provides the option to add default values to parameters. So if the user does not provide a value to an argument, TypeScript will initialize the parameter with the default value. And default parameters have the same behavior as optional parameters. So if a value is not passed for the default parameter in a function call, the default parameter must follow the required parameters in the function signature. Okay, so let's see. Copy this and paste it right here. User function two, two. And here I'm going to make this with a default value, which is going to be, uh, for example, let's say USA. And now because we have that, I'm going to remove this check okay because the country has the default value good now let's say console log user function two and we have added only the john and 25 if we save we can see the log saying my name is john and i'm 25 years old and i live in usa because we have the default one. If we provide also the country, so for example, I'm going to say UK, save, and see now, my name is John, I am 25 years old, and I live in the UK. If I change that to Albania, for example, save, is going to say, I live in Albania. But what if I change the country which it has a default value so i'm going to move that right here and the age after this one also move the albania right here my name is john i am 25 years old and i live in albania very good what if i not i'm not going to provide this one we have an underlying error so expected three arguments but got two and why because we have the country has a default value so if a function signature has a default parameter before a required parameter the function can be called but we need to provide the default parameter as of undefined okay so we can say here undefined and then 25 and now we don't have the error and if we save we have my name is John and I live in USA. But if you don't want to want to add this undefined in here, it is always good idea to move the parameters with the default value at the end. The same we had also with the optional parameters. Okay, so cut that and move it right here. And now it's not necessary to add here the undefined so we have usa and if we want we can provide that parameter to be for example uk okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much